All right, we are live. All right. What's up, guys? Sean Bowen, Full Circle Investment Group and WholesalingOutOfTheBox.com. Coming back at you again for uh, Lunchtime Live. Um, a little bit later on the live today. Hey, got business you got to handle and you got to take care of. Um, anyway, if you guys are here, uh, if you would, please leave us a comment. Let us know where you're coming in from. Um, Ashley will keep those up to date over there for you. Also, we'll give you the link um, here in the remarks or somewhere on here. And that way you guys can join us and ask questions. Um, if you have questions, please, while this live is going, let us know and come on live and ask some questions and we'll try to interact with you guys. If you're watching the replay, always, if you would, leave some comments. Um, this on a podcast and uh, definitely give us comments back on it. We're always, always interested in that. Um, but today, guys, we're going to talk about the time blocking that it takes to do this business and what that looks like, right? I got the little fancy whiteboard over here today and um, trying to draw this out as a visual, okay? So time blocking to understand what you're going to do for – let, let's say in just an hour's time frame, right? How many hours are you committing in a week? How many hours are you committing down to that one? How much time are you committing and breaking down in just an hour's time frame? Okay. So I want to do like a visual of this and you guys bear with me. We're moving microphones around and trying to make things happen. Ashley, let me know if you can still hear me. Um, so anyway, I'm going to draw this out in, Quarter scenarios, right? So let's say this is our quarter of reason, right? So the first one is marketing. So getting marketing out, building the list, right? Um, and then getting that list out to whatever that is. Is that going to be text messaging? Is that going to be calling? Is that going to be um, mail? Uh, is it going to be a lot of people are using RBMs right now, the postcards, like whatever that marketing campaign is, that needs to happen in the first piece, right? Because without any of that, none of this happens as far as like getting your phone to ring, right? And talk, talking to motivated sellers, all right? So the next one we have is now that should be inbound calling, okay? So calls or... ING calling. So this is where your calls are coming in, you're answering them live, um, or maybe you're not answering them live, but maybe you're doing follow-ups, okay? So you're getting into the um, follow-up campaigns, you're getting into the um, touch so many times, one, two, three, wow. four, and five, um, and then from there, you're now building and waiting for more calls to come in and or call calling out. Right. These are really massive pieces that it's what's happening, breaking it down in this one hour time frame for 15 increments, 15 minute increments in these quarters. OK, um, the next one is going to be tracking. So how are you tracking this information? Where is this information uh, being stored? Right. And that would be in a CRM. That's a customer relation management site, right? And then if you look at this, we're we're making this this hour time frame, right? You're 12, you're three, you're six, and nine. So like how are you breaking that down on a clock and the time frames in order to get that full time um, that you're breaking out an hour? Okay. But tracking into a specific CRM is allowing you to Keep this information in one spot, all right? So, for example, Podio and CallRail are the two that I always speak about or always talk about. If you've ever been around me for any time, that's pretty much my go-to, okay? So what does that look like? That's the marketing goes out. You can put in your campaigns, how many texts you sent, how many mail pieces you sent, right? And then there's a number for CallRail that specifically makes that to that campaign and tracks it. So when a call comes in, it rings to your phone, uh, it's tracked through call rail and it says, hey, you got a call coming from tax delinquent or you got a call coming from probate. You got a call coming from whatever the campaign source is. Okay. So 
you are now tracking that. How many calls came in from that campaign? How many mail pieces did you send out? And then what is the follow-up, right? These are huge, huge pieces. Um, so taking the time to build this system for the money and time you're investing into marketing, okay? And then the time and energy that you're investing to taking calls, making calls, follow-up calls, and then putting that and tracking it into your CRM system so you have one central location for everything to go to, right? And stay very organized. Guys, I was this person. I was walking around with five, six notebooks, and it was super unorganized, okay? Um, and then final is the last 15 minutes of that hour is learning, right? Learning and growing. This is the most important part. Taking the time to learn what you don't know, reading books that are on either motivation, changing your mindset, um, how to run a CRM, how to use a CRM, and how to put this organization together that so many people make it sound like it's so easy, right? And it can be as long as you have organization, right? And that's what this was today is talking about organization of specifically one hour and time blocking that to understand that you're going to chomp down this big business idea and this whale on just bite sized pieces. OK, and making it to where it's obtainable and it's not so overwhelming. Um, and then that allows you to break it down in that one hour to how many hours in a week that allow this to happen. All right. This is the time where committing this time is a is a is a bear. You've got to do it. If you don't, it just doesn't work. It doesn't allow you to be focused and controlling. And it's easy for everybody to get sidetracked and move on to something else that's just shiny. Right. Versus this one hour, you know, 15 minute increments throughout every single day that you make this happen. It now allows you to focus. Yeah. And then guys. Ultimately grow. Yeah. And I mean, you don't have to do this whole hour all at once either. That's something that when you're blocking it out into these groups, that makes it easier because let's say you wake up 15 minutes earlier in the morning and you conquer marketing. And then on your lunch break, you get your calls in. And then when you first get home, you do some tracking. And then 15 minutes before you go to bed, you do some learning. You know, that's why it's broken up into this one hour method. It's not all an hour at a time. It's 15 minutes to focus on the four core parts of your business. And as long and sometimes it's hard to commit that hour. But if you're committing this hour every day, you're going to get into a habit of thinking about and doing real estate. And then eventually you're going to find ways to make it two hours a day or more. Who knows? Yeah, just being able to focus, guys. And again, this is a big business, and everybody tries to make this sound as though it's a, um, it's a low in, it's an easy get in, it's an easy business, and it can be. But to organize it and then have the time to stay focused in this time blocking allows you to get more production, get more productive in what's happening and what your daily is going to be. Okay, so that was why I came in here today to. You know, break this down in this in, in today's little lunchtime live, right? And hopefully, guys and ladies and gentlemen that are watching this, either the replay or the podcast, whatever, um, can give us some feedback here. Does this help? Have you tried this in your business? Are you doing this in your business to where it helps you stay focused? It helps you obtain and and get down to the root of this business and actually grow and do deals and be able to get to uh, uh, one of our guys, Cam says it all the time, like a line in the sand, right? Where it's like, I have a target to hit. So focusing, your first part is how to get marketing, how to get it put together, right? What list are you building? What um, marketing type are you doing? Campaign, or the, the source meaning, are you sending it out via mail, via text message, via RVM, whatever you're using as a marketing system? Okay, like that is that campaign. And then from there, in taking the calls. Okay, see a lot of people saying, like, oh, I'm gonna spend, you know, so much money and send thousands and thousands of postcards at a time. Are you set up to actually take that in? 
Because I'll say no in the beginning, nobody is, right? The hope is that you get so many pieces out and so many calls in to have that conversation, 5, 10, 15, 30 minute phone calls of, is there motivation? What rehabs need to be done? Pulling the market analysis to know if it's a moving market or not. And then ultimately back it into that formula to give a, a number. That's having that call, right? And then tracking all this to ultimately get everything in a CRM. This will be a game changer for you. If you're not there already, this is somewhere you want to get to, right? Organization is huge. Not only that, but growing your company you want to be in this virtual world that you can share this stuff with. Um, and then learning is obviously another massive piece of this is all this stuff was obtained from learning. Right. And then it's just recycled again. You're doing it. You're learning more about marketing. You're learning more about calls and objections and negotiations. And then you're learning more about tracking and CRMs um, and how to do that. And then again, starting back into a new learning part like different books um some of the books i've been reading lately and rereading are the e-myth and then the uh traction um never split the difference and then fire yourself these are all books that have helped grow our company today to allow it to be where it is and ultimately keep going where it's going as it's growing so always guys i appreciate you being here um thank you so much for taking the time to listen to us and uh I'm not sure if we have anybody on here uh, that's interested in coming live, but if you are, uh, please write to us. We'll hang out for a few more minutes. It's going to be a shorter one today. Um, got a lot of things moving. Got to get going. But always want to take the time and be consistent with you guys. Hopefully helping um, talk about this kind of stuff is a big, big changing point that helps um, and allows you to grow and stay focused where time blocking is it. This is where you get more production and you get very productive doing it. So, um, hopefully this is helpful as usual. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out and listen to us. Um, if you're part of it, check us out. Or if you're not join us over at Virginia wholesale real estate, that's a Facebook group. Um, we've got the podcast at wholesaling out of the box. Uh, we've always got our website open for you at wholesaling out of the box.com. If you're interested in this CRM setup, we have a setup for you that pretty much is, we call it out of the box ready, right? Which is wholesaling out of the box to allow this to start working for you and allow this to help you um, go there, go to that link and check it out. And let's get you set up there to where you can get this organization and get more organized to allow you to have one piece of it, right? One piece of it to start something that ultimately will allow you to put everything inside of it. But again, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Uh, look forward to doing this one again. Uh, next time we'll see you on the lunchtime live. Um, as always, if you need anything, feel free to reach out to us and I uh, appreciate your time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.